Hey guys, now if you've ever felt overwhelmed um, with the information that's out there health wise or even that I've put out there um, and you don't know where to start in your health journey then this video is for you because I'm going to go into certain things that you can do uh, to remove that overwhelm and just to get you started okay uh, as always if you haven't already then please do follow me on telegram um, which you can find uh, if you if you if you search revive underscore yourself uh, on telegram you'll find me there and also you'll find me at www.reviveyourself.co you can join my mailing list so you won't miss any of the content i put out and i share a lot of things uh, on my mailing list and in telegram especially that i don't on facebook and instagram because you know the powers that be big tech don't like the truth getting out and don't they like to censor certain information so certain things are only going on those channels but also we're putting out health information here and that's what i'm going to be doing now so I get in my inbox quite a lot, you know, Ryan, where do I start? You know, I, I, I really want to make a, a change with my health, um, but I'm quite overwhelmed because you talk about a lot a lot of things and, you know, that's abs absolutely understandable. It's, it's fine. I remember being there myself at 12, 13 years ago. Um, I tell you all the things to do because I want to give you the, the, the full picture. I want you to understand, but just take things step by step, stage by stage, okay? And just do one thing at a time. Um, and so and a lot of the changes you make once you make them once they're there forever so I always say one of the first things that you can do you know you just start to buy higher quality food um, and that means you know, the food that you're consuming is going to be better for your body nutritionally so everything you consume becomes part of you and so by if you're eating things like wheat gluten soy caffeine um, alcohol refined sugar pasteurized dairy they're highly inflammatory, they're allergenic, uh, they cause inflammation in the body, and they can cause a lot of issues. And then if you're even eating things like processed foods, refined foods, okay, seed oils, uh, vegetable oils, once again, highly inflammatory, but they will come part of you, they're very toxic to the body, and they cause all manner of issues. All these foods have been linked to so many issues, diseases, uh, things like cancers, lesions on the brain, um, etc. So you just want to avoid them, okay? So think about it, single ingredient foods, steak is steak, eggs are eggs, spinach is spinach, okay? You know, a, a banana is banana. If you eat single ingredient foods, you're gonna be on to a winner. And organic, where possible. And biodynamic, if you can. Uh, when it comes to meat, grass-fed, okay? Much, much as you can, guys, okay? So simple things you can do, okay? Then, um, one of the things you can do is just have high quality water just improve your water if you can get bottled water spring water um highland spring in england's great evian's great but bottled in glass fantastic so it's not full of plastics um because plastic is highly estrogenic and been linked to many issues as well that's great or get your house filtered at the mains you know maybe it's something that's something that you can do later on but if you get your house filtered at the mains it means the water you're drinking cooking your food in washing your clothes in washing yourself and brushing your teeth in is cleaner so you're not going to have all the parasites heavy metals contaminants medication etc in that water so that's great okay then just do simple things from there you can change your toothpaste to one without fluoride you know fluoride has been linked to many issues fluoridosis of the, of the bones of the teeth lowers iq calcifies the penile gland doesn't make your teeth stronger makes them more bigger makes them bigger but more brittle Okay, you wanna get rid of fluoride, very, very toxic for the body. I've interviewed Dr. David Kennedy on this, the former head of toxicology and dentistry in America, and he said it's the most protoplastic um, poison known to man. You know, um, it's corrosive, it destroys and poisons enzymes. It eats through asphalt, you wanna get that out. So change your toothpaste. Once you've done that, you know what to do. Toothpaste without fluoride in, okay? Um, so, that's gonna be a huge win for you. So you're not doing that every day. You can then change your moisturizer. Instead of putting things on your skin that are full of SLSs, parabands, etc. You know, endocrine disrupting chemicals, you can just put coconut oil on, okay? Raw, organic, virgin coconut oil. Straight away, you're putting, I mean, everything that goes on your skin goes into your blood, bloodstream. So you shouldn't put anything on your skin that you wouldn't eat. And then you can put in coconut oil on. It's fantastic for your body, full of good saturated fats. And talking about that, it's something you can cook with. So out by the vegetable oils, vegetable oils and, and um, seed oils, highly toxic, rancid oils, full of leninic acid, 
um, full of uh, high in omega sixes, um, links to inflammation, lesions in the brain once again, all um, you know, cancers. I mean, these things are just 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 health destroying oils. So get rid of them. Cook in coconut oil, highly stable oil. When it's cold, it goes hard. You know, it's solid. When it's hot, it turns into a liquid, very stable. Or you can use things like tallow, beef fat, okay, or raw butter, or organic ghee, okay. All things you can use, animal fats or raw saturated fats like coconut oil, okay. Even with olive oil, had to get high quality because it's the most one of the most bastardized industries out there. Like, a lot of olive oil that you buy in shops isn't actually olive oil. It'll be full of seed and, and, and uh, vegetable oils. So if you're going to buy organic, okay, um, olive oil, and use that to dress your food. Don't heat that up. Use it to dress your food. Okay, very, very simple. And all these things you're doing, you're just taking steps up the health ladder, okay? Just steps up the health ladder. Um, there's a lot of many things that you can do, but the things that are free that you can add in, okay? Very, very powerful. You know, making sure you get to bed on time, you know, before 11 o'clock. Turn your Wi-Fi off at night. So your lymphatic system can clear and also your glymphatic system can clear your brain. If you put the Wi-Fi on at night, it's shown your, your brain can't detoxify. It's why things like Alzheimer's are going up, okay? Dementia, because the brain can't detoxify. These heavy metals are then stimulated by the Wi-Fi. Put in, you know, the brain has a propensity, well, metals, heavy metals have a propensity for saturated fat. Your brain's full of that into your brain and then the Wi-Fi signal is there. So sleep properly, Wi-Fi off at night, okay? Um, breath works another thing you can do box breathing breathe in for eight hold for eight breathe out for eight hold for eight you can do that ten times very simple once again it's free you know going for a walk in nature is free and 30 minutes without your phone to clear your mind so often today we're just bombarded with messages and notifications it's just distraction distraction clear your mind go for a walk you know, getting out amongst nature, fresh air, free. If you can, take off your shoes. If you can walk on the grass uh, or the sand if you're on the beach, fantastic, depending on what time of year it is. That's fantastic. brilliant for detoxifying the body. You know, the, the ion exchange from the earth, it's brilliant for you, okay? Um, what else is free? You know, exercise. If you want to join a gym or do something like that, you can. Uh, otherwise, you can exercise outside. You can do body weight exercise, you know? Exercise intelligently, not too much that you burn yourself out and not too little, you don't get any uh, any benefit. You need to move the body daily. Very, very important. It's great for your mind. Not only are you going to build a healthy, strong body doing that, you will build a, a strong mind. All these things, maybe your mental and emotional health is intrinsic to your overall health. Your brain can only be as healthy as the blood that surrounds it. So when you're eating good food, you're moving, you're, you're taking time in nature, you're going to build a health, healthy blood, you're going to build healthy body and a clear mind. It's why Aristotle made all his students train with the Olympic wrestling team because he knew how important movement was, okay? What else is, is free? Cold showers are free. And I know people would rather have their organs cut out than take a cold shower, but they are free. And you know, most people are walking around hugely inflamed. All they have to do is take like a two to five minute cold shower, that inflammation will go. It's, it's great for sex drive. It stimulates the auxiliary nervous system. It's great for immune function. Um, it's great for mental clarity. You know, uh, it, it's fantastic. It uh, brings up testosterone in men and it's absolutely free. Okay, so that's another thing you can do. Sleep, breath work, time in nature, um, cold showers, and you've got journaling, just writing things down, clearing your mind. So often we've got so many things going around in the mind, we don't know where to turn and we get we get stressed out, but if you get pen and paper and you write them down, you know, people get overwhelmed at A, they wanna be at B, but they don't know how to get there. So if you just write down what you gotta do and the stages you got to do them in, that overwhelm goes, you know? Overwhelm doesn't exist, it's just us not understanding where we need to go or not putting things in place. Once you write them down or clear your head, it's fantastic, okay? So all these things you can do, just take it bit by bit. Add one thing in at a time or one thing a week, you know? Other things, changing your, your pans from Teflon, which is highly toxic linked to all sorts of issues. Once again, cancers and uh, Alzheimer's, lesions on the brain, um, blood cancers. Get rid of Teflon and cook, cook in ceramic if you can, or glass, or if not, stainless steel pans, okay? Makes a big difference. Um, and then it, there's so many, I mean, things we can go into, you know, making sure you open your windows so you get fresh air in your house. That's free again. You know, most air in people's houses are 10 times more toxic than the air outside, so open the windows, getting fresh air in. 
perfect, free. Getting out in the sun if you if the sun's out there. The sun's the most healing entity on the planet. Don't get burned, but 30 minutes a day or just until your skin gets a bit pink every day, it's fantastic. That is one of the best things. The sun actually doesn't, doesn't give you skin cancer. Um, if you go and get burnt in it, of course that's not good for you, but the sun has been shown to stop 16 different types of cancer, including pancreatic, lana, ovarian, brain cancer. It's phenomenal. Everything they tell you is bad for you, it isn't. The, the, the countries with the highest sun exposure have actually got the least uh, skin cancer rates compared to the ones that have the lowest, okay? So think about that. And if you, and if you can't, there's other things you can do in the winter, like save tanning beds, okay? So once again, free. Then if you want to look into essential supplements, you can start doing, doing that. Things that, uh, that I would say are always good to have, like things that are gonna clear your liver. Your liver is your battery of life, very, very important. So like milk thistle, dandelion root, etc. Then you can add in a probiotic, really good for your gut. Um, making sure you've got a healthy internal environment, but, but fermented foods are good for that, okay? But remember, just do these one at a time. So all the things I've mentioned, you can write them down and it's like, okay, this week I'm going to you know, improve my food quality, okay? And I'm gonna exercise three times a week. Next week you might go, okay, well one day a week, I'm gonna take a cold shower, you know? Um, gonna make sure I get in bed this week at 11 o'clock. Uh, I'm gonna turn my Wi-Fi off, you know? All these things are easy to do. There's other things we, we can go into, okay? There's other things we can go into, but these are, are the essentials, and you don't have to do them all at once, okay? Just make one change a week. In fact, just do one change a week. All the things I mentioned, you go around and write them down, and you can just make one change a week. So, first week, I'm gonna improve my water quality. I'm gonna drink two liters of, of high-quality water a day. Next week, right, I'm going to improve my food quality. I'm going to buy as much organic produce as I can. Okay, brilliant. Next week, right, I'm going to go to bed earlier. Brilliant. You know, I'm going to make sure I turn my... Next week, I'm going to turn my wife off when I go to bed. Okay, and you just build them in one at a time, guys. Okay, so there are things I haven't mentioned here which we, which we can go into, like saunas and, and things like that. But, you know, the other thing simple thing you can do which is absolutely free turn off the mainstream media you know it's all there to cause fear to push you into a limbic system so you're scared and when you're scared you'll do anything for survival like take things they tell you to that you shouldn't like stay away from other humans like they're bad for your health you know it's how we create a strong microbiome it's been around other humans other organisms organisms you know we, 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 it's a culture that wants to wash everything and try and clean everything animals in the wild do they wash their hands before they eat no, <laughs> it's, it's completely nonsense. You know, all the animals in the wild, have they all been, you know, jabbed up? No, they're, they're fine. It's all complete nonsense to sell things, okay, to you. Um, and so turn off the mainstream media. Be aware of the subliminal messages in adverts, etc. You don't have to, to avoid them, but be aware of them. When you see them, oh, look, that advert about chocolate isn't talking about the chocolate. It's talking about how it makes me feel. Hmm, that's funny. I know that it's, chocolate is not going to make me feel good because it's actually highly inflammatory, etc. Well, that kind of chocolate anyway. The, the rubbish they, they promote on the TV. Same as when you see like healthy people drinking alcohol and, and you know, there's a pub on every corner for a reason. There's a coffee shop on every corner for a reason because they're toxic, um, they push you into a limbic system and you'll do anything they want. You know, give you bread and circuses for, for Saturday and Sunday and put sport on the TV, they're, then people will be happy living their mundane lives and working jobs they hate because they get some bread and circuses on the weekend. Just start to understand that. So switch off from the mainstream media. Instead, listen to uplifting music, great podcasts, okay? Listen to people that are beneficial to your life. And people on social media that are toxic, turn them off, okay? Remove people from conversations if you find them stressful. These are all things that you can do and they're free and they're very, very good for your health. The food and supplementation, other things you can do are, are obviously important, but the, other, the main blocks are free. Um, and so you can just do these things one thing at a time, guys, okay? And after 14 weeks, what up? You've changed 14 different things, you're a different person, you know? You're moving more, you're sleeping better, you're drinking cleaner water, your food's organic. Sorry about that door. <laughs> your food's organic. Um, you turn your wife off at night. You know, you're not putting chemicals on your skin. You know, and it's just doing things one thing at a time, okay? Um, and then you can go into other things and other avenues and, and, and you know, learn more about you know, if you want to go into saunas once a week or flotation tank or whatever it may be, okay, get a massage for yourself, whatever it may be, there's other things you can do, but doing these things and adding them in one, one at a time, one week at a time, after, you know, 16 weeks, you're going to be a completely different person feeling different things, okay? Uh, and if you need any help with that and you want to do these things quicker, you know, that you can, 
give me a message. Email me at ryan at reviveyourself.co um, and we can help you because I've learned long ago that people are not coming for me for information. They're coming to me for implementation. You know, there's so much information out there. They can get up at so many things for free videos, podcasts like this, um, like this, videos, podcasts like this, uh, also articles, etc. All, all for free. But then someone else, you know, might put up something saying something different. So you have to see who, who you're going to, you can get one doctor with same qualifications as another doctor, both with opposing your views. One saying organic food's not uh, not beneficial, one saying it is. So then you have to use your brain and you know be an adult and say, well, is food grown organically through Mother Nature's principles going to be more beneficial to me than food, you know, grown with pesticides, herbicides, insecticides, redenticides, chemical fertilizers, or not? And so, you know, this way we have to use our use uh, become an adult and and really start to think things for herself, which is what they don't want you to do. Um, but you know, some people they, they, they want the implementation, they want that accountability, that support, and that's absolutely fine. You know, that's why I have mentors in my life so I can get to results quicker. So if you are dealing with a health issue um, and you haven't been able to overcome it, or you just want to get to optimal health, you know, send me an email at ryan at reviveyourself.co and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay. Otherwise, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and just take things one step at a time, and your life will change. Trust me. Speak to you soon. Lots of love.